and Beckett's crew yesterday, last night, when I walked down to the paddock, were cheering and jumping up and down in pure excitement to know that they had managed to get themselves in to top 32 competition, but a tough contender ahead for them as we see Benedict Tascherba absolutely flying. Wheel on that yellow line right to the edge of the circuit. Beckett though comes for a little shortcut, goes on the inside of the circuit, trying to lose, gain some ground. He's lost and again does it there on outside zone four. Very scrappy chase, which should be clean because Benedict Tascherba is giving Beckett all the opportunity for a nice chase run with that clean lead line. And Beckett there shutting it down to get a nice lead, uh, a nice pull up through that chicane down. You can see Cherba goes for that initiation behind the lead car perfectly where he needs to be because you can see there he gets that line in and now Beckett was on a very nice lead line until he fell out of outside zone three. Cherba going to struggle to chase this one I believe. Nice dive Cherba playing with fire right there. Unpredictable lead from Beckett at the moment and Cherba took a big risk on that transition as now Benedict as Cherba once again is going to go for a wild transition through into outside zone five Beckett super wide wheels off the edge of the circuit and you can see Benedict Ascherba holding on trying to get himself into the groove goes for the transition back dives onto the door very well played and Benedict Ascherba getting the win advancing through so we're going to get back to that one in a minute we're going to move on to this one Cherba versus Rorohovsky Rorohovsky to chase down the Lithuanian Benedict Ascherba and look at Benedict Ascherba no messing around Rorohovsky though trying to get involved with this one as he dives up onto the door, looks for the side of that yellow E92 BMW Eurofire. And once again, Rorohovsky through the smoke, looks for the front wheel. Big clutch kick, the front end of that GT86 popping up and down on the tarmac. Good transition for Rorohovsky as he goes for a dive onto the door. Benedict Ascherba unfazed by the pressure from the Ukrainian though as he transitions once again. Rorohovsky stalls up, Cherba across the well, line. Rorohovsky to lead out. Benedict Tash Cherba. What has Cherba got? He needs to lay it down now. Rorohovsky, very tidy lead line at the moment. He's going to go wide though. Two wheels off the edge of the circuit. Judge is not going to like that one as now Rorohovsky needs to get himself into the groove. Slows that car down massively. And Cherba once again makes contact. How Rorohovsky got this one done. Yeah, look, comes out of that outside zone. He does dial on a lot of angle there and he does scrub quite a lot of speed and potentially this one could be it. Here we go, decisions in. Who's going to take it through to the great eight? Will it be the Ukrainian Rorohovsky or will it be the Lithuanian Cherba? There we go. Cherba gets the win, advances through, through the chicane we go, through the gears. Benedict Das Cherba to lead out. Ahmed Al Amri and Ahmed Al Amri now. That car working 100% as Cherba hammers the throttle absolutely to the metal as far as it will go as Amin Al Amri though balancing that car looking working the throttle he has got the grip and the pace to keep up with the Lithuanian driver as they transition to outside zone four Benedict Cherba onto the throttle up into the white line as Amri goes for it Amin Al Amri no messing around lacks a little bit of proximity but he's right there with Benedict Cherba now as he looks for the transition once again waits to make the move and he does up onto the door Amin Al Amri through the gears, nice little faint initiation right to the edge of the circuit goes Ahmed Al Amri, a little waver, but he keeps a hold of it now as Ahmed Al Amri, absolutely beautiful into outside zone three, pins the throttle down, looks out the side window and says, see you later Cherba, but Cherba's going nowhere as he dives through the smoke, very shallow line, but he makes it work as Cherba looks for the door of the S15, doesn't want to go down without the fight. The Lithuanian good transition back and a nice dive onto the door from Benedict Tash Cherba as he's closer than Ahmed El Amri now. He knows he needs to prove to the judges there is nothing left in this one. Good dive from Cherba back on the door again. And there we go. A one more time. A one more time. Time battle. Benedict Tash Cherba to lead out. Ahmed El Amri. For a spot in the final four away. Tell Amri way out of position there. He's going to struggle now. Yeah, wheels on the inside as Benedict Tash Cherba fires into outside zone three. Look how good he is on those outside zones. But Amin Al Amri gets his way back into the fight as he transitions now through the smoke. Cherba on rails as he moves through outside zone four. Amin Al Amri trying to rein him in, trying to get dialed up on the door. Good transition back from Amin Al Amri as he looks for the side of that yellow BMW E92 Euro fighter. Now Al Amri loses some ground. The transition coming up, a good flick from Cherba right to the edge of the circuit. Across the at RADC round two, nice initiation for Al Amri, but unfazed from Cherba, he waits for him to make his move. As Al Amri gets into the outside zone now, Cherba starts to make the dive, turns the screw a little bit as Cherba knows he can't let him get away. He needs to add a little bit more proximity, a little bit more spice to the mix 
this time not to leave the judges questioning anything. There's a Lamry goes nice and wide on the transition. Cherba right with him and Cherba goes for a brave dive. Almost over rotates, almost stalls up as Cherba has to use the brakes to put that car into a stall. Transitions back once again. Cherba back on the door yeah. across the line. Oh, and it's going to be another one more one time. These guys has to do something different. Big initiation for both of them and Ahmed Al Amri makes a mistake on initiation. Separation straight away as now Benedict Cherba puts the foot to floor, goes wide, just about holds it on the time but Ahmed Al Amri starts to make a dive back, starts to pull back once again, wheels off the outside edge of the circuit for Benedict Cherba now as Ahmed Al Amri sees him make that move, looks for the transition as Ahmed Al Amri Waits for the transition to be done by Cherba to make the move up onto the door. As Cherba hammers down and through the circuit, transitions back. Al Emery onto the side and across the line. To lead out, Benedict has Cherba. Look at Cherba right onto the back bumper. The S15 is closer than he was before. Shallows up the angle, now starts to dial it in. Cherba needs to be careful. He knows he needs to do something to force the judge's hand to put him into that final four. And Cherba closer than anyone else through that first Big outside zone, Cherba then makes the transition work as he now once again gets closer and closer and closer. Up into the door he goes of Alamri's perfect lead line. Onto the door goes Cherba through the transition. He wants this one bad. Look at the front dipping down every time he touches the brake or lifts off the floor. He's closer onto the door than Alamri. Oh, it will be Benedictus Cherba. Benedictus Cherba gets the win for the last spot in the final away two. Who's it going to be? Cherba has had so much practice, so much seat time on this circuit. He's dialed in. He knows that line. But look at Alan Hines reeling him in, looking for the door, looking for the rear end of that BMW as they fire through outside zone three. A big transition back. Hines goes for it, makes the move, wheels over the edge of the circuit for Alan Hines though as he has to readjust, move himself back into position. No such problems this time for Benedict S. Cherba, as Cherba hammers the throttle down, looking to drive away from Alan Hines, but he can't escape, as Alan Hines is right with him onto the door. Through the chicane, through the gears, onto the back bumper goes Cherba, and he's got that initiation absolutely dialed. Every single time as Cherba looks for the side of the Pro Drift Academy Green S14, as Alan Hines lays down that perfect qualifying line once again. Cherba, look at the line he takes. Look at the transition he makes. Oh, clinical from Cherba, almost contact has to back out of it but gets himself back into it once again as Alan Hines slightly falls offline slightly comes away from where he wanted to be as Benedict Cherba holds on to it looks to make a dive was he going to come through the smoke he certainly is on the back bumper goes Cherba well here we go looks like the decision's in oh and Benedict Cherba gets the win Benedict Cherba gets the win and advances through on here we go, the final battle of round two underway. Benedict Cherba to lead out. Ali Maxide through the gears. Maxide, oh, makes contact on initiation. Maxide is not messing around. Benedict Cherba unfazed. The Lithuanian wants it. Look at the line into outside zone three for Benedict Cherba as Ali Maxide hunts him down through the outside zone. Looks for the transition. Maxide, big contact as Maxide goes too angry, too aggressive. Picks up the throw once again and gets himself in it. And the Lithuanian is unfazed by the contact from Ali Maxide. Keeps himself in the zone, keeps himself in the flow as he looks for the final outside zone. Ali Maxide goes for another dive on the door across the line. This one done and in the bag, through the gears they go. Cherba's going to keep this one clean. He's not going to want to mess up as they go way on the inside. Ali Maxide, as you can see, dragging them down to the inside edge of the circuit. Look at Cherba, the way he mirrors the angle into outside zone three. And Ali Maxide sparks and flames from underneath the car as he has to shut it down. Benedict S. Cherba puts on a show as Ali Maxide pulls to the centre of the circuit. And Benedict S. Cherba stands on the footbrake and says, this one is for Lithuania. This one is for all the times where I've struggled to make it through competition. And this one is redemption for last weekend as Benedict S. Cherba makes some noise for your winner of round two. Benedictus Cherba! I am the Cherba Lithuani, who has given a very good performance in the second and the second. Cherba did an amazing and perfect job.